In part two of this series, where we assign oxidation states, we'll continue answering where we left off. And we left off in question two, where we are expected to assign an oxidation state to each atom in each compound. Let's start with A. We have the element chromium. Now, since this is an element on its own, a free element, it has an oxidation state of zero. Moving on to question B, we have chromium in its ionic state. It has a charge of three plus, and because it has a charge of three plus, it has an oxidation state of three plus. Now on to question C. We have carbon tetrachloride. Here, chlorine has a charge of one minus, and there are four chlorine atoms. Given that this compound is neutral, it is equal to zero, so we have to deduce what carbon will be. 4 times minus 1 is minus 4 is equal to 0. Therefore, in order for this to be 0, this equation, the oxidation state of carbon has to be positive 4. Therefore, the oxidation state of carbon is positive 4, and the oxidation state of chlorine is minus 1. In question D, we have SrBr2, which is strontium bromide. Here, bromine has a charge of 1 minus, and it's neutral, so it's going to equal to 0. I'll multiply this by 2, since there are two of them. We have minus 2 is equal to 0, and strontium has a charge. Therefore, if we deduce this, much like the way we did for question C, we'll end up with positive 2. So this is done. In question E, we have SO3. The oxidation state for oxygen is minus 2, and we have three of them. This compound is neutral. So what will make the left side and the right side equal? Well, if this is minus 6, therefore, the oxidation state of sulfur has to be positive 6. Because positive 6 plus minus 6 is equal to 0. For question F, there's a little mistake. Notice that it's NO3 minus, although this polyatomic should be NO3 with a charge of minus 1. And that being said, if we create a mathematical equation, this should equal to minus 1. And the oxidation state of oxygen is typically minus 2. There are three oxygen specimens here. So 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. And to make this equal, we have to have positive 5 as the oxidation state of nitrogen. And there you have it. Six more examples on how to assign oxidation states.